Only at two, we are hearing from the mother of a teenager who died after being hit by a car while he was running from North Charleston police. Kendra Brown's son, Jalen Carter, was killed back in November of 2017 near Appian Way Apartments in North Charleston. News News Deanne Roberts spoke to Brown today, tells us how she is using local, state, and national leaders to get what she calls justice for her son's death. I will fight until the death of me. This grieving mother is taking matters into her own hands while coping with the loss of her 17-year-old son. As a mother, it's living your worst nightmare. For Kendra Brown, that nightmare was November 11th, 2017. That's when North Charleston police say her son, Jalen Carter, ran from a police officer near Appian Way Apartments and was hit by a car. Carter died six days later from his injuries. I can't believe it. I was in a state of shock. Almost a year after her son's death, Brown filed this lawsuit, suing North Charleston police and former officer Wayne Pavlicek. The lawsuit says Pavlicek pulled a gun on Carter and chased him. The lawsuit claims Carter was unarmed and therefore was not a threat. It was very unnecessary for you to put your gun on my son. Nothing in this world will ever bring my son back, but when there's negligence and things aren't done properly, someone needs to be held accountable. In our one-on-one, -on -one, Brown tells me so far she's been offered a settlement. I think it's a slap in my face. So I feel like you can't just give a grieving mother a portion or a dollar amount of money and say, here you go, have a nice day. That's not how it works. So in addition to the suit, she's calling on national civil rights activists to demand justice. So they're cutting checks for the blood of Afro-American males, but yet no injustice as it relates to the officers still being in office. Brown is giving everything she has. I'm going to keep going through my pain. I'm going to keep sharing his story. To fight for her son and make him proud. I know he's happy that I didn't give up, that I fought for him in life and I'm fighting for him in death. Brown is creating a foundation in honor of her son to help grieving mothers. Also, a justice rally is being planned. You can count on us to keep you updated on the rally and the pending litigation. I'm reporting in studio, Deanne Roberts, count on two.